Hello people, this is George with yet another Call of Dragons video. Today we will continue speaking regarding uh, Legion types. We already recorded video regarding marksmen, regarding mages and infantry. And today we will be speaking in details about cavalry units. And I will share my experience by uh, competing in many different wars and many different situations in the game. First of all, we need to understand what cavalry brings to the game, right? It's a unit which is moving fast. Uh, their march speed is high uh, and you can like even doing anything in the in the map you can manage to see that cavalrys are moving faster they don't have highest or even high amount of hp so it means that it's all about uh, attacking and it's all about dealing as much damage as possible of course as any of my videos i won't be speaking regarding tier 5 champions or TF tier 5 gameplay because I'm a free-to-play player and I don't have experience playing with tier 5 units so every my video is about tier 4 and free-to-play content well as always uh, we will speak regarding unit advantage and to advantage system this is like a uh, system where you can see which uh, unit type counters another. It's all about damage here. Like this uh, metric does not show real uh, time and real life fights, and this is like purely about statistics and purely about damage. In here, we can say that uh, cavalry is countering marksmen, and infantry is being countered by, uh, and infantry is countering the cavalry, and cavalry is countering. Uh, marksman. Well, in real life situation, in my opinion, uh, cavalry is um, underperforming, uh, if I will be honest, because let's say uh, in the war situation, like there is so many legions around the battlefield that you are no, you are not doing your main thing. Uh, the main thing about cavalry is that you're gonna flank the enemies. You're gonna like uh, hide at some place and you're gonna move faster so you will hit marksmen and mages because that's the two units you are dealing the most damage. But it's hard whenever it's uh, time for a war because every time uh, there is infantry defending uh, marksmen and mages and it's pretty hard for you to get to your target. Because if you will just stand there and you're going to just hit the infantry unit, you're going to die by mages and marksmen who is in the back line hitting you. And trust me, every marksman and or every mage is targeting cavalry because they are dying faster than, for example, infantry, of course, right? And that's the main idea. Like, cavalry is a type of unit where you should go in, uh, defeat the legion and go out. But uh, in right now, in, in this meta, like, I don't think cavalry is doing what it's supposed to do. Uh, also, it's not uh, like cavalry is not used in any behemoth fights. And, uh, well, in my opinion, main idea and main purpose, I like how I usually use my cavalry is like this is a unit type which I can move around the map faster so if there is like small fights when like my base is far away and like marching takes like 10 minutes for my marksmen and mages I can use cavalry and mark march speed will be like five minutes uh, or I will get some chests and my cavalry will go there faster so like I'm using cavalry more of the utility style uh, well, I know, like, for T5 players, uh, using cavalry is different because, uh, like, every T5 unit is powerful in the game. Like, doesn't matter if it's mage, marksman, or infantry, if you have a T5, that's amazing. So, that's the main idea, like, uh, cavalry is underperforming, like, almost anything is better in the game uh, right now, uh, during, for the war situations, for a roots of war, for example, like, uh, for a roots of war, like, uh, main use of the cavalry is to rally up and get to the point faster than enemy, like, even fighting T4 versus T4, it's not the most epic and most powerful uh, unit type in the game. Uh, regarding uh, heroes, of course, as any other uh, you, like kingdom game, there is like different choices regarding heroes. 
and like since season one in season one plus and even now like one of the most important most popular cavalry unit hero uh, pair is like emrys and bakshi uh, that's like one of the oldest one or like you can play like bakshi and emrys emrys or bakshi if emrys is primary that means you are focusing on mobility now if you have bakshi as a primary and emrys as a secondary that means you are trying to get as much skill damage in the battlefield as possible well if you are free to play like free to play player like me uh, you can see i don't have bakshi i'm running emrys and Alistar, right? Like that's like budget version of having at least one legion of cavalry. But if you are going like full, uh, you want to go main the cavalry units and Emrys or Bakshi, Bakshi or Emrys. Also, a new uh, hero which is Forondil is quite good. Forondil and Emrys is a nice uh, combination. Like it's all about movement speed. As you know, like Emrys has a high movement speed with the talents. And like foreign deal uh, and Emery's and Emery's and foreign deal can be great um, uh, cavalry unit hero pair. Uh, and also there is like new hero which is Theodore, which is cavalry garrison skill. I don't have him. I have not seen people use him uh, for now. Let's see. In the, maybe in the future it will be more popular and more useful. And then I will do a guide about him. But this is like main legions for cavalry uh, people and cavalry players like Emrys and Bakshi, Bakshi or Emrys, Emrys and Alistar, uh, and Forondil and Emrys or Emrys and Forondil. Let's see main heroes, main, main, main hero pairs uh, regarding um, cavalry units. And now I will be speaking about... Uh, Artifacts, of course. Well, uh, currently I have only Shoreland's Blade, and it's not the best one, it's not the most amazing, but it's fine. If you will get Shoreland Blade, like, you should be fine in the battlefield, that you will be kinda happy. But if you want to have a best one for the cavalry units, in my opinion, still, uh, Kingslayer is the best one with the highest damage and the like main uh, cavalry unit artifact but since the season one they added more uh, artifacts for cavalry which is like blink storm arrows you are blinking through the terrains you are blinking through the rivers and this is a great way to be the most mobile mobile legion in the game uh, this also will be fine so like in general solan's blade kingslayer storm arrows is like Every each of them is a good choice. Uh, regarding um, epic ones, honestly, like Blade of the Reproach, that's the only thing I was using for cavalry. Like in general, cavalry does not have like most amazing uh, epic uh, artifacts. But like if we, we can confer, uh, compare, like not a lot of legion types has so many good. Um, uh, legendary artifacts for their gameplay. Uh, so, like Storm Arrows, King Slayer, Shoreland's Blade for legendary ones, and uh, Blade of the Reproach for the epic gameplay. Uh, and the last thing, which is kind of important and new thing in the game, is Warpets. Uh, I already did every single Warped guide in, on my channel, and I won't gonna speak a lot which and why these uh, warpeds will be suited for the cavalry heroes, but still, uh, I will like normally say, like as you can see, this build on Emrys I think is good. Even uh, Emrys or Bakshi both can be great. It's all about like the cast like casting skills, and like this is the combination for uh, each other. Like small synergy, like Berserker Frederick can be used on any cavalry. That's my opinion. If you are using foreign deal, like this arrogance skill is like for foreign deal, marking the enemy. And like for now, this is my two uh, cavalry uh, war pets in the game that I'm using. I'm just using. Um, Fair Drake because Fair Drake is flying here, flying warpet and Thea is flyer, and sometimes I'm using Thea too. But like uh, Fair Drakes can be amazing for the uh, cavalry units, like 
especially Berserker Fairdrix. It's like my main my uh, my idea. If there will be changes, I will change my idea too. Like depends on the gameplay and depends how everything will go. Uh, this was like uh, my experience uh, playing this game as a free to play for like six or seven months. I'm all, almost nine. 90 million power. Uh, we already spoke about uh, war pets in full guides, and what's left is like special units. But I will be uh, doing next video regarding eagles, uh, which, which are pretty unique for any kingdom play kingdom uh, builder builder game. And I hope this video will help you to think about differently about the game because whichever word I say is all about real-time gameplay not the metrics and not the systems and thanks for watching uh, bye bye